The back row will be Nathan Perkins, Jackson Cooley, and Big Henry, Lea Luga, Puatau. Up front, it's Penny Terrapo, Ale Moatane, and smashed over himself, Jaden Lang. The bench will be Corey Wilmot, Jack Gordon in 23, Tori Vartainen in the Finn in 19, and John Weasley, Boeth Moa Nanu in Jersey 17. And Freddie Borg in charge of the Jets, Russell Lewis in charge of Oakdale. I believe we're having a minute's silence before first grade tonight. That minute silence for John Bridges, Oakdale club man who's passed away recently. Condolences to the Bridges family. Jack Mackay in charge of first grade tonight. Penny Terrapo and uh, looks like Mitchell Brasington out for the toss on halfway. Referee Jack Mackay in charge of the big one tonight. I can tell you around the grounds for the beer shed who brought us our pre-game tonight. It's uh, already Parramatta 6, Canterbury nil after only five minutes at Homebush. <laughs> The Eels are in an early try on the board. Reed Marnie made a long break and uh, Clint Gutherson backing up on the inside, out sprinting the defence to score the opening try of the day. So 6 0, Parramatta leads Canterbury after five minutes. Around the grounds for the beer shed as we bring you Saturday Night League. Signal from the tower says we're ready to go. Jack Mackay's ready. We're ready. There's the whistle. We're away. Saturday Night League here on MacArthur Sports Radio. It's Oakdale and Norellan. Norellan have first possession and making good metres. And he's lost the ball on the first tackle. Lost the ball on the first tackle. And there's a scrum feed going the way of Oakdale. After only barely 30 seconds in the first half. Here at Sid Sharp Oval tonight. Cool evening, grounding good condition. So we'll have a scrum feed about 25 metres out. Just to the right of centre field. And work it back on the inside. Near Oakdale. On the attack early, Moa to Arne. Gives it off to Allen. Allen just outside the, or just inside the 20 now, about 18 metres out from the line. They come to the right hand side. Bush out the back. Well read there was uh, Jacob McKinnon, the former Jet, shut down by his former team. Now back on the inside. Kyle Fraser takes it forward, gets the ball out the back. Moa to Arne. Mitchell Brasington trying to step through the line. And get through this time. Big man brought down only about 15 metres out from the line. They switch it back on the inside. Bush, well wrapped up by Penny Terrapo. Shut him down to others there in Royal Blue to stop him. Only about seven or eight metres from the line. They come back to the right-hand side. Now the kick through the line. Intercepted, or taken it. Second slip by Norellan, and they're away and racing over the halfway. The 40, the 30. I don't think they'll catch him. That's Tane Masima. They won't catch him. He'll go the distance and score. Opening try of the day after only two minutes on the Forte Financial scoreboard. And it's four points to nil. Norellan plays from in front tonight. 
on the replay for F2 Sportswear. That was far too easy. The catch taken, and once Masima got into open space, they were not going to stop him from there. So two minutes gone in the first half. Michael Natane Masima goes a good 80-odd metres to score. And it's 4-0 Norellan leading Oakdale. On the Forte Financial scoreboard, the replays for F2 Sportswear, proudly clothing as they supply us and sponsor us in 2021. You'll see us out and about in the teal and gold. And the proud sponsors of MacArthur Sports Radio. Now it'll be uh, Josh Campbell to line up the shot at goal for the Jets. Now we'll see what he can produce here, Josh Campbell. Wide out, about 21 metres out. He'd be about five in from touch on the western side. And Josh Campbell, the left footer, to try and add the extras, make it a dream start for the Jets. 6-0 to the good they want to be. They'll be four. They are four. Sends it on its way across the face of goal. Conversion unsuccessful. Remains Norellan four. Oakdale nil. And we've had uh, just over three minutes in the first half. Here at Sid Sharp Oval. And the... AWPM Civil Clock. First half of tonight's game. Restart back underway. And the restart goes to the Norellan left hand side. They'll take it about 15 metres out from their own line on the first tackle. Now they go to the towards the middle. The middle Norellan towards the 30. And over it by a metre or two. Pretty well set of field. They come back to the right. There's Terrapo taking it up the middle. Makes another dozen. Eight short of halfway. He'll play it. Back it comes for the kick. Masima punches it over the top. Easily taken at the back by Matthew Brasington. Calls in his winger Sam Aiga. Plenty of experience. The number five in the red and black this year. That'll be Mitchell Brasington. Take it up the middle, 10 short of halfway. Early stages, first half, 4-0, Norellan lead. Early try to Natane Masima. Levi McLean. Plays it on over halfway by a metre or two. And the first penalty of the night goes the way of the workers not rolling away. In time, according to referee Jack Mackay. Around the grounds for the beer shed. Another try to Parramatta. Two tries in the opening 10 minutes. It is 10-0 with a kick to come in favour of the Eels. Now let's see what the Jets, what the workers can do in attack here. They work a, a move down the right. That's, uh, well, I think that's Whitehouse taking it forward. They play it 19 metres out. There's Thompson, the skipper, takes it forward. Within a dozen of the line, maybe a little bit more. Back to the left-hand side they come. There's Bush. Now Mitchell Brasington out wide for Brother Matthew, who's wrapped up nicely in the defence. Jermaine Matty Leafy over the top, making the tackle. Along with one other. There's Bush at first receiver. Gives it off to Fraser. Fraser up the middle. Good run. They'll play at 20 or 18 metres out. Moa to Arne. In fact, that's Hall out of dummy half, the former Jet. Plays it nine metres from the line. Now they spin it out wide to the right-hand side. That's Josh Burke trying to step through the line. He will step through the line, Josh Burke. He's over. Six minutes gone in the first half. Josh Burke's in for the workers. And we're level at four for Forte Financial. Worked it to the right-hand side on the replay for F2 Sportswear. Came down the right-hand side. Josh Burke had to beat his man. Once he got through the line, they weren't going to stop the veteran centre and got through for an easy try 
to make it four all on the Forte Financial scoreboard after six minutes in the first half. Conversion attempt to come from adjacent to the uprights. Burke did well to bring it around. A little bit closer to the uprights. Make that attempt a little bit easier. Mitchell Brasington looking to add the extras. He'll join me in the commentary box tomorrow at Victoria Park. I'll be at the match between Picton and Mittagong. We've got two games running tomorrow. If you want to listen to Campbelltown City and Camden, you can head to MacArthur Sports Radio Extra. That'll be on MSR Extra. The main channel will have Picton and Mittagong. That'll be my game with Mitch Brasington, who does convert from, in, from adjacent to the uprights. Makes it 6-4. So, Oakdale with it. Early, early, early lead. 6-4 in favour of the workers. They'll come down to halfway now, Norellan. Restart play. Both sides yet to record a win. They've made the Mayday call. Who's going to come out on top tonight? And this vital, only round three, but a vital round three match for both sides. Mackay says, let's get underway. Restart now. Taken by the workers. Back to the right-hand side now, Oakdale. Coming back to the open side. Up towards the 30. 10 mil after 13 minutes around the grounds at the, for the beer shed. It's Parramatta over Canterbury. As we see Oakdale charging over the 40-metre line. And the ball's been lost in the tackle. According to referee Mackay. Lost error. Lost ball from the workers. So the Jets will get a scrum feed here. In good field position, about five metres inside Oakdale Territory. And Oakdale with a two-point advantage early on. Trading tries in the opening ten minutes. Latane Masima after only two minutes, and then Josh Burke only a couple of minutes ago replying for the home side. Mike Sheen with you tonight. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Group 6 League live on MacArthur Sports Radio. Rugby League doubleheader this weekend. Choice of two games tomorrow. As we see an error from Norellan. First tackle after the scrum win. And work it back. Now Norellan concedes possession. Virtually the same position, about five minutes, or five metres inside Oakdale Territory. Jacob McKinnon to work the scrum. Numbers to the right-hand side. In fact, they've stacked it to the left. And we've got time off here. Right on the 10-minute mark. Right on the 10-minute mark, we've got a an injury here too. It looks like Josh Campbell. He's having a bit of attention, but he looks like he'll get the all, all clear from trainer Mick Kepi. Veteran trainer, I should say, Mick Kepi. In charge of the Jets as we get back underway. So we see the workers on halfway following the scrum win. There's Fraser taking it forward, fends off one, beats, keeps going, keeps the legs going. Good run at Kyle Fraser. Plays at 15 inside. Norellan Territory now, it's his front row partner and captain in Thompson. Plays at 30 metres out from the line to the right hand side. There's McKinnon. Now it's Whitehouse. 28 metres out. Bush up the middle, playing at lock forward tonight. Interesting move. We'll play at lock tonight. Normally a, a dummy half back for the kick on the last. 
McKinnon puts it high. Not a bad looking kick. They let it bounce. That's dangerous. Anybody wanted Oakdale falls on it. Knock on from Norellan. According to referee Mackay. Knock on from Norellan. So the workers get another set of six. Third scrum of the evening early. They only just ticked over 11 minutes. On the AWPM civil clock. And it's 6-4. Oakdale leads Norellan. Mitchell Brasington at first receiver, fires it out, a high ball out wide for Mitchell Golf. It's brought down 18 metres out, back on the inside. Archie Allen takes it forward. Makes a couple of metres. Now the ball out the back. Mitchell keeping it alive. Now they come back to the right hand side, McKinnon turns it inside, Burke. Burke creating creating all sorts of havoc nearly through the line. Josh Burke nearly came out the other side. Little short ball and they're in again. Kyle Fraser gets over. Twelve minutes into the twelve minutes into the half. Kyle Fraser gets over for the second try of the night for the. Oakdale workers making it 10 points to 4 on the Fort Hay Financial scoreboard. The replay for F2 Sports where they worked it down the left-hand side and short ball back on the outside found Fraser. And he crashed over from adjacent and from close range beside the uprights and had no trouble putting his team out by 6. Version attempt from again beside the uprights. Mitchell Brasington, one from one tonight. Good crowd here at Sid Sharp Oval tonight. Not capacity by any means, but a very good crowd in attendance for a Saturday evening. Brasington doesn't miss from there. He's two from two. It's 12 4, Norellan trailing Oakdale. So 12 4 after 13 minutes for Fort Hay Financial, our broadcast sponsors, as we check all our sponsors who keep us going each week. Fort Hay Financial Services, F2 Sportswear, the Beer Shed, Holly Lee Road, Lemire, AWPM Civil, and Case Statewide Solar. And our stats for Case Statewide Solar three scrums to one in favour of Oakdale. There's only been the one penalty so far. That's gone to the home side. So the workers now coming off their own end. Up towards the 30. Convert the, the tackle on the 30 metre line. Switch back to the left hand side. Looks like Levi McLean for a run of about nine. He's 11 short of halfway. Back to the right hand side. That's the lock forward in Bush. Plays it over halfway. Now they come back to the left. Brasington. Now the kick down field. Field taken at the back by Daniel Muir. Muir, can he find a bit of open space? No. Good defence from the workers. Two of them there to stop him. About 15 metres out from the line. On the eastern side of the ground. Looking from the broadcast on the western side, the clubhouse side of the ground. Here at Sid Sharp Oval. You see the Jets over the 40. Now they're up to halfway here, Norellan. Main stripe, that's uh, Josh Campbell. Makeshift centre tonight. Ball through the hands. On the last, and a good tackle made by Oakdale to ensure the kick doesn't get made. That was uh, Siafale making the run on the last. And there'll be a turnover about seven metres short of halfway. On the western side of the ground, the Oakdale right. They're looking to the right of your radio in the opening 40 minutes. We've got 24 and a half minutes remaining in the first. 
Two tries to one in favour of the workers. There was the winger there in uh, Sam Iega playing it. Put like a back row of Sam Iega could easily play in the pack. It's Kyle Fraser. Takes it forward. 42 metres out. Turned inside on the unders line is Archie Allen. In fact, that's Whitehouse. Ben Whitehouse on the unders line. As we see Mitchell Brasington put a high bomb up. Muir didn't know much about it. That'll be a try to the workers. Nice kick there from Brasington. I just have to confirm who that was. Number one, thank you. I thought it was Matthew Brasington. Charging through for the try there on uh, 17 minutes. So, the Brasingtons in the action. Had a quick chat to Mitch earlier tonight before the game. It's 16 points to four on the Forte Financial scoreboard in favour of Oakdale over Norellan. We've still got 23 minutes remaining in the first half. Around the grounds for the beach head. 18 minutes remaining. First half at Homebush. Parramatta 14 0 to the good over Canterbury. Gutherson with a first half double. He's looking good. Mitchell Brasington to convert the try from Jason to the uprights once again. Two from two. Makes it three from three. Doesn't miss those from all his three shots have been from close range. And with uh, 22 minutes remaining, it's 16-4, Oakdale over Norellan. Saturday Night League. Here on MacArthur Sports Radio. Choice of two games tomorrow, Picton and Mittagong. The game I'll be at with Mitch Brasington. Curtis Woodward and Brian Brown will be at Fullwood Reserve to bring you Campbelltown City and Camden. You can pick, we'll have both those games, put the links up through our social media channels during the day. The Campbelltown City match will be on MacArthur Sports Radio Extra. The MSR Extra Channel 4, City and Camden. The main channel, MacArthur Sports Radio, the one we're on tonight, will have Picton and Mittagong. So you'll have your choice of two tomorrow. A feast of football on your Sunday. From the restart. It's... Oakdale about 17 metres out from their own line. Coming to the right-hand side. They work it outside. He's Burke getting into space once again. Good run from Josh Burke on the western touch line. He'll play it 39 metres out from his own line. Looking for a quick play. The ball won't get it. But he does get the penalty. The second of the night for Case Statewide Solar. In favour of the workers. Clearly not rolling away fast enough. The referee's liking. So I'll take the kick for touch on halfway. So we see the uh, tap taken. Now the first tackle there, two metres inside. Norellan territory. The referee says just take it back. Now they go back to the right hand side. There's Jason Thompson, the skipper. Ball out the back. And Oakdale's got it. Whitehouse plays it on the 40. Ball out of dummy half. Saw a gap at it closed quickly. They wanted the penalty and they'll get the penalty. For a high tackle. Pressure around the neck according to referee Mackay. High tackle. As they come back to the western side. They kick for touch. Take the tap 20 metres out. The referee says a little bit of afters here. So we're going to have the tap taken again. 20 metres out, 10 metres in. Western side of the ground. Now Burke up the middle, beats the first and scores. Easy try to Josh Burke. Simple play down the right-hand side. 
Burke has a first quarter double. Makes it 20 points to four on my sheet. With a conversion attempt to come from wide on the right. On the replay for F2 Sports where that came on the back of the penalty. Burke beat his man once he got through the line again. There was no stopping the centre. And he's got two tonight. Inside the first 20 minutes. So the conversion attempt from wide out for Mitch Brasington. I think we're going to have a drinks break after this. And we go back about 25 metres, 24, 25 metres, and about five, six metres in from touch on the western side of the ground to make the conversion attempt his hardest one of the night so far anyway. With 18 and a half minutes remaining in the first half. So we see Brasington with the conversion attempt. Brasington sends it on its way. Looks all right. Is all right. He's four from four, the big man. And we are going to have that drinks break. With just under 18 minutes remaining in the first half. It's 22-4, I believe. On the Forte Financial scoreboard. We'll take a short break. Have more in a moment. Don't forget to check us out online. Just search Group 6 League Live on Facebook. Don't forget to check us out online. Just search Group 6 League Live on Facebook. That's where you can find us, Group 6 League Live on Facebook. Mike Sheen with you this evening from Sid Sharp Oval. It's 24-4 in favour of Oakdale. Four tries to one after 20 minutes. A double to Josh Burke, Kyle Fraser... And Matthew Brasington with the tries. Natane Masima with the opening try of the match after two minutes to the Jets. And we're about to restart play. 18 minutes remaining, or 17.58 to be exact, in the first half. And it's Oakdale 24, Norellan 4. The restart now goes deep. That's a good kick downfield taken just inside the try line. They're spinning it wide early here. Norellan having to shuffle to the right-hand side. He's Sam Iega taking it forward. 15 out from his own line on the first. They spun it across field, but he made 15 metres. Inside ball to McLean. Batted back. Referee says no. Thought he got away with that, but uh, referee Mackay right in position said no. That, was, that one did travel forward. Only fractionally, mind you, but did travel forward, according to the referee. So we'll have a scrum feed to Norellan. 20 metres out. And I'll take it 20 metres in on the western side of the ground. Around the grounds for the beer shed. It's 16-0 Parramatta over Canterbury. Nine and a half minutes remaining first half. Chase up that score from earlier today in the Central West at Carrington Park. Beautiful Carrington Park in Bathurst. There's the venue early this afternoon. As we see the Jets going to the right-hand side now. That looks like Matty Leafy taking it forward. He's only about eight metres out from the line on the eastern side. 16 and a half minutes remaining. And they had another try here. Rare attacking raid for the Jets. Stacked deep and wide to the left. They're only a couple of metres out. Through the hands. Now good ball from Jackson Cooley. Can't get through the line. Two and three there to stop him. Only three or four metres out from the line. They come back to the left-hand side once again. That's the winger in Sao Kamuta. The veteran plays it only a couple out from the line. Moa to Arne into dummy half. Finds it to his right. Masima puts a little grubber kick through. That's a nice-looking grubber. Did he force it? I think he's going to say no. I think he's going to rule no try. So it'll be back to the 20 for the optional restart. Now Oakdale went for the... They faked the quick tap but decided against it. And I'll take the 
Conventional tap and hit up on the first. 31 metres out from their own line. Back to the left-hand side. Jason Thompson brought down in the good two-man tackle. 12 short of halfway. Looks like he might have copped a... In fact, that was Sam Iega taking it forward. Looks like he might have copped a little bit of claret. Copped a whack there, the winger. Now it's Thompson, the captain on the whirling dervish. Spinning his way forward over the halfway line by a metre or two. Back to the left-hand side. That looks like uh, Michael Bullock out there. For the workers. Making his uh, club debut tonight. And we've got a penalty to Oakdale downfield here. For tackling a player off the ball. So, uh, take the tap now. Running onto it, Alec Bush. Good run up the middle. Nine metres out, centre field, southern end of the ground. Back to the right hand side. And that's Bullock in the 18. Now they switch it to the left hand side. Mitchell Brasington trying to take on the line. And it's four from four with the boot. Come back to the right. Through the hands. There's McKinnon. Trying to dance his way through the Royal Blue defence, but no way through this time. Uh, they go to the right-hand side, turning it inside. Burke dancing his way. Takes on the line. Can he come out the other side? He nearly does. He has lost the ball in the process. Norell and have it. That looks like Penny Terrapo with it. Three metres out from the line. They'll come back out of dummy half. Norell and trying to work out of their own end. 13 and a half minutes remaining. First half, 24-4. Norellan trails Oakdale for Forte Financial. As we see the workers having to defend. Norellan coming out of their own end up towards their own 30. That's more like it. That's what I want to be seeing. Fred, Borden, Fred Borg and the coaching staff be happier with that set and that run. Now they're up to the 40. A much better set. Kicked, gets charged down. Whitehouse put his hands up to say, Came off my back, sir. It wasn't played at. Norellan will get six more. So again, they'll bring it out of their own end up to the 20. Just outside their own 20 on the western side. Back to the open side. Left, they get a quick play of the ball. They stole about 15 metres there. That's better from the Jets. Trying to fight a way through the middle. That's a much better run. That looks like uh, Matty Leafy with a good gallop. 40 metres out from the Oakdale line. They'll come back to the left-hand side. Good hands there. Stepping through the line is Natano Masima. He'll end up with a first-half double. He's over for the Jets. That'll please the home fan, the Norellan fans. He's got a double in the first half. And it's 24-8 for Forte Financial on the replay for F2 Sports where there really wasn't much doing. I made a couple of good runs, got the repeat set. A couple of good runs and then a ball at the outside. And the inside ball found Masima and he cruised into open space and did it easily towards the line. So 24-8 it is. A replay for F2 Sports where proudly clothing the MacArthur Sports Radio team and sponsors of MacArthur Sports Radio as well in 2021. Hope you're enjoying the coverage on this Saturday night from Sid Sharp Oval. I'm Mike Shane. Great to be with you. Tomorrow we're off to the Wallandilly, Picton and Mittagong. Always a good battle between those two fierce rivals. Sunday football on MacArthur Sports Radio. Got a double header for you. Got a feast of football tomorrow. I'll be at the Picton Mittagong game with Oakdale 5'8", Mitchell Brasington. Curtis Woodward and Brian Brown will be at Fullwood Reserve bringing you Campbelltown City and Camden. We'll post the links on social media, but you'll be able to hear that one through MacArthur Sports Radio Extra. The City game will be on MSR Extra. I'll have picked it in Mittagong through the regular channel you're on right now. Campbell throws it over from in front to make it 24-10 in favour of Oakdale. Over Norellum. Looks like we've got a good game on our hands tonight. Here in the Western Borough Garang. 
Two and a half minutes remaining on the AWP and Civil clock in the first half. The workers defending the old, the former workers club end of the ground. The club's been uh, partially demolished. I believe MacArthur FC now involved in the uh, upkeep and the running of the club. They'll be working through that in the future. So you see Merlin coming out of their own end. Now the workers having to defend here. Merlin going to the left hand side. Good run up the middle. Taking good metres. 18 short of halfway. Looking for a quick play of the ball. Referee Mackay not giving a whistle in favour of the Jets. As we see Norellan getting through the line. Terrapo, he's been good. Plays it four short of halfway out of dummy half. Good gallop there. Corey Wilmot on in the 14. And he gets told to go back on the mark and play just inside Oakdale Territory. Now the kick from the halfback in long bottom. Puts it high over the head of Matthew Brasington. Takes it on the bounce. Wheels around, tries to run out of his own in goal and does get out by a couple of metres. Only just out of the in goal area. Now, the work is going to the right hand side. Sam Iega to play it. Nine out from his own line. That's the centre in Josh Burke. Plenty of time in Campbelltown City Colours now. Playing in Campbell's in Oakdale Colours in the red and black. Oakdale 15 short of halfway now. Just to the right of centre field. Looking to our right for the next eight and a half minutes. Mitchell Brasington punches it downfield. Nice kick taken on the 20. Goes straight up the middle. That's a good take there. I think that was Daniel Muir. Plays it 15 short of halfway. Now off his wing. That's uh, I think that's Sal Kamuda. No, it's the other winger in Siafale. Now they take it up the middle. That's uh, Boeth Moananu. Short ball from Wilmot to the right hand side. Found Matty Leafy. 35 metres out from the line. Getting a bit of momentum here, Norellan, and they'll get the penalty. The free Jack Mackay. To the delight of the visiting fans. Gives the penalty there. First of the evening for Case Statewide Solar. Going to take the tap through Masima. And they'll take it straight up the middle. Deciding not to kick for touch. And it's Wilkins. Sergeant Wilkins plays it. Short ball to the right-hand side found by with Moananu. He'll play at 15 out from the line, maybe a little bit less. Wilmot into dummy half. Goes left-hand side, Cooley. Jackson Cooley fends off. Tried to fend off the front rower there in Jason Thompson. Only a metre or two out from the line. 12 in from touch, western side. Back it comes, Wilmot. Wrapped up at dummy half. Good tackle there from Oakdale. Shut down that play very quickly. Now it's Campbell into dummy half. Basima turns it on the inside. Unders line. That's uh, Jack Gordon in the 23 jersey. Plays it on the last. Only a few metres out. Wilmot back to Masima. What's he going to do? A little grubber kick into the in goal. It's batted dead by Oakdale. Repeat set for the Jets. That's not bad for them. They'll be happy with that result. And clock says 6.20 remaining first half, 24-10 the scoreline. Oakdale over New Orleans for Fort Hay Financial. I'm Mike Shane, great to be with you tonight. From Sid Sharp Oval. As I said, tomorrow we're off to, Victor I'll be at Victoria Park. Curtis Woodward leading the call at Fullwood Reserve. Two games for you choosing tomorrow. As we see round three come to an end in Group 6 Rugby League. This is the start of it. Both these teams desperate for the two points tonight. Oakdale in front, approaching half time, but Norellan certainly putting a bit of pressure on them. Jack Gordon inside the 20 by about seven or eight metres. Brought to ground, Archie Allen in there with two others to make the tackle. Back to the left-hand side, there's Wilkins. 
Masima takes on the line. Natane Masima. Yes. No. No, he didn't get there. I thought he had, but referee Mackay said no, he didn't. No, he didn't make it. Now counter-attack from Oakdale up the middle. Mitchell Brasington. Mackay nearly gets knocked over. Ball out to the left-hand side. Oakdale ducking under tackles. Come back 40 metres out from the New Orleans line. That's only tackle one. They work it down the left-hand side. They've got room and space here, Oakdale. Charging upfield. They've done it with ease. Made 70, 80 metres on this run already, and they've only had a couple of tackles. Ricky Small. Plays it about 12 metres out. Back to the left-hand side. Towards the line only. A couple out from the line on the on the left-hand side. Mid-range left. They go out of dummy half. I think that's Bush in at dummy half. And he's going to be held up. So back to the 10 we come for the play the ball. But an Allen player slow to his feet. In fact, he's down. And the clock stops with 4.21 remaining. So it's 24-10. Norellan trailing Oakdale around the grounds at the beer shed for the beer shed half time at Homebush they're almost there only 30 seconds remaining Parramatta 16 Canterbury nil three tries early on to the Eels puts them in front 16 nil at the break there's only a matter of 15 odd seconds remaining in the first half as we see the Norellan player down receiving attention. Heated discussion down on the Norellan bench between the officials and the coaching staff. Not quite sure what's happening. We can't hear, hear the discussion, but uh, an animated discussion. Doesn't look too, uh, too vicious, though. A lot of hand-waving and gesturing, but I don't think it's too... Too serious, the Norellan coaching staff voicing their opinions. I think they're too thrilled with some of the rules that have, the rulings that have been made tonight. Adam Reeves up in the Oakdale coach's box. Freddie Borg down on the touchline for Norellan. Russell Lewis, the offsider for Oakdale down at ground level. It looks like uh, Longbottom receiving attention for the Jets. It is a bit of a stoppage there. Still 4:21 remaining. 24-10. Oakdale in front at the break or approaching the break. As we wait for the referee Jack Mackay to signal time back on. Hope you're enjoying the coverage on this Saturday evening. <laughs> now we're right to get back underway. As the clock restarts. Turnover on the last. So looks like it's a turnover to Norellan who bring it out of their own end. Four minutes remaining, still 24-10. Norellan trails Oakdale in this Saturday night encounter. Been a good game so far. Not a lot of points after the quarter time break. Only the two tries, one apiece. Josh Burke with his second, Natane Masima with his second. In the space of eight or seven minutes, and we've got a Norellan player down. 3.43 remaining, and one of the Norellan players down on his haunches. It's uh, Jackson Cooley, I believe. Down receiving some attention. He's going to try and receive some attention. Referee says, no, we're not quite ready. Hey, 
And we get back underway. Cooley to receive attention out the back. Play continues on. Maryland 11, 12 metres short of halfway. Bill Mott goes to the right. Well played now about four metres short of halfway. Inside three and a half to go. Asima. In fact, that's long bottom straight through the line. They support on the outside. And the man there, balls out the back, play on the call. Still play on. It looks like uh, Matty Leafy, who's been dangerous for the Jets tonight. And play at 11 metres out, eastern side of the ground. Nassima, little punching kick over the top. Burke takes it easily. Can he beat the cover defence? No. He won't get through the line this time. He's already broken it a couple of times. But he won't get through this time. He's nine metres out. Back to the open side left. Sam Iager up the middle. Good run from him. He'll play it. 36 metres out from the line. Centre field. They go left hand side. There's Michael Bullock. Takes it up the middle. Up the middle over halfway. And cheering back on the hill at St Greg's tonight no doubt. First great coach. A good win on Thursday afternoon. Against their arch rivals in the school's competition. And Patrician Brothers Fairfield backing up on the inside. Ricky Small keeps it alive. Matthew Brasington inside the 10. That was a low ball for McKinnon. Did well to hold on to it. He did very well to hold on to it. 15 metres out from the line. Still tackles up the sleeve. Mitchell Brasington shows it, shows it. Gets taken to ground. Two of them there to greet him on the 10. They'll play it now. Out of dummy half, Allen Burke down the short side. That's too easy. That was far too easy down the Oakdale right. Burke has three, 90 seconds to the break. And Josh Burke gets a treble in the first half. Makes it 28-10 for Forte Financial. The replay for F2 Sportswear won't make for pretty viewing if you're a Jets fan. That was far too easy down the Norellan left edge. The combination there of uh, Campbell and Siafale looked like they looked at each other as a pair of strangers who'd never met. And Burke sliced through the line to steal his third try of the night. Minute remaining first half. Brasington to make it five from five with the boot if he can add the extras here. Tough kick, but he slotted the last one from out wide. He's four from four so far, the big number six. Only 40 seconds, so this will just about see us out for the half. We'll take a break at half time and then come back to wrap up the opening 40 minutes for the beer shed. Around the grounds as well. It's 16 0 Parramatta at half time. Over Canterbury. Brasington. To make it five from five in the first half. Sends it on its way. He's pushed that to the right-hand side. So the score remains 28-0. That'll be time. Time, ref! Uh, referee Jack Mackay says that'll do us <laughs> half time. And it's Norellan trailing Oakdale 28 points to 10 at the break. We'll take a break. And have the second half shortly here on MacArthur Sports Radio. This is Group 6 League Live. Stay with us for your Saturday night. We'll be back shortly to bring you the best of the on-field action from the team of Group 6 League Live. On the left edge has been rather disappointing. Josh Burke has exploited that left edge at will. And found his way through the line easily to score three tries in the first half. Fred Borg in the... Coaching team would be concerned about that after 40 minutes. Don't forget tomorrow, two games on offer for you. I'll be at Victoria Park with Mitchell Brasington to bring you Picton and Mittagong from 2pm. And Curtis Woodward will team up with Brian Brown to bring you Campbelltown City and Camden from Fullwood Reserve. Again, kickoff at 230 Coverage from 2pm. Join the boys 
They'll be on MacArthur Sports Radio Extra. We'll post the link on social media tomorrow for you to tune into that game. I'll be on the main channel, MacArthur Sports Radio, the one you're on now, to bring you Picton and Mittagong. That'll be our feature match tomorrow afternoon. We'll have regular updates from Fullwood Reserve and Thurmy Sports Ground as well. We're underway for the second half, the third match on tomorrow is Thulmere and the South West Goannas down in the Wallen Dilly. So a double down in the Dilly. Got a choice of two there. You can head to Thulmere, listen to us, and have a, have a second phone or a second d device running the Campbelltown City match. A perfect Sunday for some. Now workers up towards halfway from the restart. Our halftime wrap brought to you by the Beer Shed, Holly Lee Road, Lemire. As we see Norellan coming out of their own end, the Forte Financial scoreboard hasn't changed after 45 seconds. 28-10, Oakdale leads Norellan. Around the grounds for the Beer Shed. And it's still 16-0, they've just kicked off in the second half at Homebush. We'll keep you across that over the next 39 minutes or so. Morellan coming out of their own end. It could have been the flying Finn, Tori Vartainen. And it was now the kick from Norellan. Good. No, it was a good kick from Norellan. Masima inside the 30. Gets the ball away. Long, in fact, I think that's uh, Cooley taking it forward. Or Campbell. Campbell plays it inside the quarter. Now they go to the left-hand side. Masima, short ball to the left. And a runner there, they're over Norellan. They're in. Just need to pick up the try scorer's number. So it's 28-14. Oakdale leads Norellan. Parramatta's gone in around the grounds for the beer ship. We'll keep on top of that this evening. Pick up who that try scorer was on the replay for F2 Sportswear. That was a nice, a nice uh, option there. They fumbled the kick. Oakdale, Norellan were able to capitalise and then go down the left-hand side and score to make it 28-14 in favour of the Oakdale workers. Now the conversion attempt from out wide. Conversion attempt from out wide on the left. For Campbell, the left footer. The kick is successful from Josh Campbell out wide. Conversion is successful, 28-16 the scoreline for Forte Financial. With 36 and a half minutes remaining, good start for the visitors after half time. No good kick taken deep in the in goal. And off the back fence they come. Up towards the 20. Yeah. Norellan coming out of their own end after points. They'll want to complete a good set here. They've already made 26, 27 metres. They come to the right hand side. They'll work it back to the middle. That's uh, Jack Gordon taking it forward. 16, okay, thank you. And that was 16, but okay. Now they play it five inside. Oakdale territory, high ball on the last. Crossfield kick in the direction of McLean. Was he taken early? No, referee says it was all good. He did well. Under pressure, Levi McLean took it very well. 33, 34 metres out from their own line. 
Oakdale working right to left on your radio in the second half. As we see McLean taking it forward once again. And the left hand side now back to the right. Here's a good short ball. Michael Bullock crashing forward. Referee says he lost it in the play of the ball. So the error comes from Oakdale. And gets the scrum feed on the 30. 20 in from touch, western side. So the Jets down by a dozen. And we see uh, Norellan coming forward. Wolf short of halfway. Centre of the ground. Western drawing the coverage on Mike Sheen. Ball goes to ground. Oakdale comes up with it. Whitehouse. 37 metres from the line. He's slung to ground. Uh, and now they come back to the right edge. And we've got time off. Here, 33 minutes 42 remaining. Got an Oakdale player down receiving attention. I think it's Sam Iega, the right winger. And he doesn't look in a good way, the right winger. as uh, Sam Iega rather receives attention from the medical staff still on his haunches and not in a very good way the right winger he still can't even get onto his onto his feet here he's in a, a lot of trouble I'm guessing it might be a right ankle I don't know but from here it looks like it might be a right ankle receiving attention we might take 30 seconds here on MacArthur Sports Radio while we have the chance we'll be back soon if your business is looking to break into the local advertising market or your current advertising package is not working for you come and join the MacArthur Sports Radio family with a range of sports covered throughout winter and summer and packages to suit all budgets the team at MacArthur Sports Radio can tailor a package to suit your needs Call today on 0490 403 933 or Google MacArthur Sports Radio or simply find us on Facebook. MacArthur Sports Radio, MacArthur's home for live sport. If you're a small to medium business looking to realise your full potential, then you need to speak to the team at Forte Financial Services. The team at Forte Financial Services can come to your home or workplace to speak to you about tailoring motor vehicle and equipment finance needs. Forte Financial Services can also tailor a home loan through the many lenders in the market as they look for the best deal for you. Head to fortefinancial.com.au or call them today to organise an appointment with the team and discuss your situation. Forte Financial Services are proud sponsors of MacArthur Sports Radio. If you're a small to medium business looking to realise your full potential, then you need to speak to the team at Forte Financial Services. The team at Forte Financial Services can come to your home or workplace to speak to you about tailoring motor, vehicle and equipment finance needs. Forte Financial Services can also tailor a home loan through the many lenders in the market as they look for the best deal for you. Head to fortefinancial.com.au to organise an appointment with the team and discuss your situation. Forte Financial Services, ethics and expertise in financial services, Forte Financial Services are proud sponsors of MacArthur Sports Radio. Back here at Sid Sharp Oval, you haven't missed anything, it's uh, 28 uh, 16, 
in favour of Oakdale over Norellan. Mike Sheen with you this evening. And I can tell you that try scorer was uh, the 17 for Oakdale. Uh, for Norellan, rather. Uh, John Wesley Boeth Mawananu who got that try for Norellan early stages of the second half. Looks like Sam Iaga. Sam Iaga going off the field. And the interchange being made. As we get back underway. Ball to the left-hand side. And I'll come back to the left-hand side. Mitchell Brasington. I think that's going to be a penalty for obstruction. like a penalty for obstruction goes the way of Norellan first penalty of the second half for Case statewide Solar Levi McLean takes the ball kick doesn't find the line McLean puts the skates on goes to centre field makes 15 20 metres still going McLean good run from him pulled down 27 metres out from the line centre field plays it now they go to the right hand side it looks like trade use CO played rep footy this year. 19 metres out. Brasington, that's Mitchell, turns it inside, finds Mitchell Goff. The Mitchells combined once again. Now out of dummy half hall. Short ball to the right, goes to ground. Blown up quickly, no advantage. It's 28-16. Oakdale in front. Up by two converted tries. As we see the Jets with the scrum feed. Ten metres out. Just to the, the left of centre field at the Barragarang Road. End of the ground at the old workers club end. Oh, that's a low ball taken down around his ankles there. Nice work from Norellan. Held onto the ball nicely. And we see the Jets on their own 20. Back to the left-hand side. In fact, it's been put down. Turnover. Oakdale have it. 19 metres out on the attack. Here's a chance for them early. Nine minutes gone in the second half. Eight and a half down. I'll play it 10 metres out to the right-hand side. That's Bullock. Straight up the middle. He was a little flat-footed there. Hall. CO. At the back. That's McKinnon. McKinnon switches back. Hall once again. Dummies takes on the line. Jermaine Hall. Yes! He got there. Nice work, Jermaine Hall. Slammed it down on the line against his former club. Jermaine Hall gets his uh, first try for the night. I'm reasonably sure in saying that's his first try for Oakdale. I'm reasonably sure that's the first try for Oakdale for Jermaine Hall, former Jet for many years. Now in the red and black of Oakdale. Makes it 32-16 for Forte Financial. The replay for F2 Sportswear. They got the repeat set after the turnover. And they pushed it to the left-hand side. And Hall saw a little, uh, little gap. He poked his head through the line. Got out the other side and managed to slam it on the chalk for four points. Brasington. Five from six tonight. About 18 metres out and about 15 in from touch. Brasington, ooh, he's got it over, but boy, oh boy, that was tight. Looked very tight from here, but the flags both went up straight away. So he's five from six. Makes it 34, 16 in favour of Oakdale over Norellum with 29 minutes remaining for 
AWPM Civil, one of our new sponsors this year. Great to have them on board. Along with Case Statewide Solar, the BE Shared F2 Sportswear and Forte Financial Services. The new Group 6 League Live on MacArthur Sports Radio. Penalty to Oakdale. Norellan not rolling away in the tackle. Kick finds touch. Just on the 40. Oakdale into the ground. They're running to our left in the second half. They're looking to build on this momentum from tonight. Good friend there from Trade News CO. Ball out the back. McKinnon takes on the line. Next week, Oakdale have the week off. Rowland takes on Filmer on Sunday at Crane Oval. Here's a chance for the workers on the inside. And that looks like Matthew Brasington bringing it around. It is. Matthew Brasington gets in for a second try. Tonight. Try scorers are just so they can, the try was scored two in quick succession. Matthew Brasington gets a double, making it 38-16 for Forte Financial. The replay for F2 Sportswear. They came down the right hand side, came back on the inside. And easily got their way over the line. 27 minutes remaining. And 22 points the margin. Mitchell Brasington from in front should throw it over from here. And he does. And he's kicked two from two after half time. Six from seven in total. Makes it 40 points to 16. Updale over Norellan. So we see Norellan back on halfway. False start. Mobile back in position. Take two. Next passage of play. Go around the grounds in a moment. Ball on the deck. Norellan not able to get there in time. Looks like we've got another try to Canterbury here. We've put on a couple after half time. In fact, they've put on more than a couple. We've got a, uh, in fact, it is two. 22 10 Canterbury trails Parramatta with 24 minutes remaining. So they're pretty well on par with us here at Sid Sharp Oval. The referee says, never play the ball. CO plays it 10 short of halfway. Back to the left hand side, Bullock gives it off. Flat ball, just short of halfway. And Mitchell Brasington high into the night sky. Good kick, great kick. Didn't know anything about it. Norellan concedes it. Levi McLean gets there. That was a beautiful kick off the boot of Mitchell Brasington. That was all the veteran number six, three in quick time. 44, 16 is the score for Forte Financial. The replay for F2 Sportswear, that was all the number six. What a beautiful spiral kick up. Sal Kamuda knew nothing about it. Let it bounce, it fell to Levi McLean, who put his ears back, made a short sprint to the line and got over. To make it 44-16. With a kick to come. Again from next to the uprights.
Cressington to make it. 30 points. The margin he does. Just a little chip wedge over. An easy kick by his standards. And it's now 46-16 and this is getting embarrassing for the Jets. They really need to produce something here. Let's get themselves back into the game. Brasington, 7 from 8, so 14 points himself. Hasn't got across the stripe for a try tonight. And he's got a slight delay here with the, with the spectators of the junior variety. Just a slight interruption as we get back underway once again. And a restart on halfway. Big task in front of the Jets, down by 30. We've got a Saturday night game in a couple of weeks. Back at Onslow Oval for Southwest Goannas. McLean takes the restart. That looked rather high. So we see the workers coming out of their own end. Over the 30. Like they'll go into the right hand side. We see Bush. Short ball on the inside for Fraser. The big man up the middle. Good run, Kyle Fraser. Inside the 40. 34 metres out from the line. He'll play it. Just to the right of centre field. Now McKinnon punches over the top. That's a good looking kick into open space. Chase is coming. There's a wall of red and black coming through. And Norellan fields it only a few metres out from their own line. So they come down the eastern side of the ground. Far side from where we're watching it. Back towards Camden and the Oaks on that eastern side. And a long drive back for just about everybody tonight. Back east towards Camden, Campbelltown, Norellan. All those points. As we bring you Saturday Night League here on MacArthur Sports Radio. I hope you're enjoying the coverage. I'm Mike Shane. Great to be with you tonight. I have Mitchell Brasington with me tomorrow as we see a kick find the line from Norellan. Just on the 30. It'll be a turnover. It'll be a turnover for Oakdale. First one of the night. For Case Statewide Solar. And the first turnover, three scrums apiece for Case Statewide Solar. Penalty count is 4-2 in favour of Oakdale. Referee Jack Mackay. Letting this game flow fairly well after halftime. We've had one penalty apiece for those interested. So in uh, nearly 20 minutes, we've only had two penalties after halftime, one each. That was a Ward 4B special, that ball. I wasn't expecting it there. The Oakdale man on the... Right hand side, that was uh, Archie Allen did well to reel that in. Oh, got the ball away there. Oakdale, Cole Fraser got the ball away. Probably wasn't the right option. The ball's gone to ground. Oakdale turn it over. Norell and have it 40 metres out on the attack. Back to the right hand side they come. Back to the open side right. They look for something here. The home side on the defensive. Maryland trails by 30. They charge into the line here. Oakdale having to defend. Back to the right-hand side. There's Masima directing traffic. Short ball to the outside. Found his front roller there in uh, Penny Terrapo, the skipper. Long bottom out the back. Found his centre in Matty, Le pardon me, Matty Leafy. The penalty goes to Norellan. to Norellan. Penalty count 4-3 for Case Statewide Solar. The ball from Nathan Wilkins after the tap. 20 minutes remaining in this one. 
And the drinks break shortly. They go from the right-hand side. Short ball out wide. Muir found Matty Leafy. Only a couple of metres out in the southwestern corner. And they come back to the open side left. That's uh, Jaden Lang smashed over, playing it. Wilmot out of dummy half. Short ball intercepted. Alec Levi McLean down the western touchline. Puts the ears back. Takes on the cover defence. Gets to halfway. Natane Masima wraps him up in a good one-on-one -on -one tackle. Pulled down two metres inside. Norellan Territory. Slow play the ball. Uh, Matthew Brasington fires it out wide. McKinnon on the half volley. Did beautifully to pick that up. A little bit of afters here between McLean and Wilmot. Nothing doing out of that. Dale to the right hand side. Matthew Brasington found Burke. Now the workers back to the open side right. Matthew Brasington back on the inside. Has Bush on his hip. Does he use him? He does. He goes to the right hand side. But Alec Bush will get around and score. As we see the try to the number 13 for the Oakdale workers. So it's 46. And that makes it 50 points to 16 in favour of Oakdale. So they raise the the bat for the half ton 50 points to 16 as we see Parramatta in for another try I'll take that in a moment and the replay for F2 Sports where that was nicely worked down the right hand side and Oakdale making a statement tonight raising the bat saluting the four corners for the half ton as we see the conversion attempt from Mitchell Brasington He's got seven from eight. Conversion attempt coming up. Conversion attempt now from Brasington. He's good. He's got eight from nine. We'll take a breather here. It's 52 16. Oakdale in front of Norellan. And we've got 16 54 remaining. Welcome back here to Sid Sharp Oval. Three quarters of the match is complete. And it's all one way traffic. We've got just under 17 minutes remaining. Oakdale 52. Norellan 16. Mike Sheen with you for the call tonight. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are. Let us know where you are if you're on social media. I haven't mentioned it tonight, but uh, we're on social media. Group 6 League Live on Facebook. Also on Twitter, at G6 League Live. We have the Twitter account up and running tonight, so uh, get behind us on social media, at G6 League Live on Twitter. And Group 6 League Live on Facebook. Also, MacArthur Sports Radio on Facebook and on Instagram. Only the one account, at Mac underscore Sports Radio. At Mac underscore Sports Radio. You can tweet us on that account as well for all your sports news. MacArthur Sports Radio on Twitter, at Mac underscore Sports Radio. For Group 6 Rugby League only, it's at G6 League Live. Hashtag G6 League. We're underway for the final 17 minutes here at Sid Sharp tonight. And it's been all one-way traffic for the home side tonight. They've done it in a canter with 17 minutes remaining. As they look for more points, the question is how many will they finish on? So the score 52-16. Mitchell Brasington's had a night out with the boot. And he's got eight from nine. Uh, 9 from 10 rather, 9 out of 10, 90% record for the number 6, 18 points on his own. Now pointing the, jet, the Jets with his right boot alone with 9 conversions and 9 goals from 10 attempts. 
Norellan, nice little bit of footwork there. If you get to watch the replay on social media, have a look at the little trap there, a little flick up, trap and flick up into the hand. Nicely done there by Norellan. Inside the final 15 minutes of this one. Result will be on down around the grounds for the Beachhead. Holly Lee Road, Lemire needs Parramatta 28, Canterbury 10 with 13 minutes to go in that one. So that one, well, it certainly looks like it's beyond doubt as well. And they'll be looking to uh, seal the two points. Canterbury looking to uh, claw their way back. Parramatta controlling it nicely as many people would have expected this evening at Homebush. So the target, the uh, workers' turnover possession. In fact, it was a knock-on from Norellan out of all of that. A knock-on from Norellan, so the scrum feed to Oakdale. Scrum feed 30 metres out from the Norellan line. Just enjoying your Saturday evening. Two matches for broadcast tomorrow. I'll be at Victoria Park with Mitchell Brasington for Picton and Mittagong. Picton and Mittagong, always a tough battle between these two clubs. And 52-16 uh, the score here tomorrow. Picton and Mittagong down at Victoria Park. I'll be at that with Mitchell Brasington. Curtis Woodward and Brian Brown bring you Campbelltown City and Camden from Fullwood Reserve. That should be a cracking game as well. So Curtis and... Brian to bring you that one tomorrow afternoon from 2.30. That'll be on MacArthur Sports Radio Extra. We'll post the link on social media tomorrow. MacArthur Sports Radio Extra for City and Camden. We'll have Picton and Mittagong here on this channel, MacArthur Sports Radio. It'll be our main feature match with regular updates from Fullwood Reserve and Filmy Sports Ground as well. Filmy taking on the Southwest Goannas. As we see Norellan on the attack here. Penny Terrapo takes it forward, kicks it out the back. Finds Smash Davo, Jaden Lang. Plays it 22 metres out from the line. Back they come right hand side. Ball out the back. Long bottom fires it out wide. That's uh, Saukamuta with it. Wheels around past a couple. Back on the inside. Dench to get the ball away. Does get the ball away. Picked up on the volley by Nathan Wilkins. Sergeant puts a kick in. Ball's been knocked on by Oakdale. Here it comes from the workers. But the game is uh, well and truly in the bag. 12 and a half to go. Scrum count. Well, there's been five scrums to four in favour of Norellan, but Oakdale have had one turnover as well, where they would have had a scrum feed last year. So effectively five all. That's for Case Statewide Solar. And the penalties, 4-3 to the workers. On our sheet, 2-1 in favour of the Jets after half-time. Thanks to Case Statewide Solar, we've got 12 minutes remaining on the AWPM Civil Clock for tonight. And penalty to Norellan. So we see Norellan on the attack here, looking for more points before... Final siren. As we see. Slow play the ball and a penalty comes. One of the quick tap there, Norellan, but didn't get it. attack inside the 10. A bit desperate to keep them out and they've lost it here, Norellan. So 
So the scrum 10 metres out, 20 metres in. Or well, 10 metres out, pretty well centre field. Five to the right of centre field. At the southern end of the ground. Clock showing 10.50 remaining. It's 52.16. Oakdale doing this comfortably over Norellan. In this Saturday night match. I think our next Saturday night match. I'll just double check that. I think it's two weeks away. Our next Saturday night game. I'm pretty sure it's the Goannas at uh, Onslow Oval. It is two weeks today, Southwestern Camden, the Crosstown Derby at Onslow on the Saturday night. Two weeks today. A couple of good games on the Sunday, actually. We've got three good games. Oakdale and Campbelltown City on paper. Picton and the Oaks and Thornley and uh, Mittigon. That's always a tough one as well. And a little bit of push and shove. Penalty goes the way of uh, film of uh, Oakdale, rather. And penalty will go to Oakdale, levelling the count at five for Case Statewide Solar. Clock stops with 10.06 remaining. So this game's certainly beyond doubt. A little bit of afters there. Penalty goes the way of Oakdale, and there was a little bit of push and shove afterwards. And he's been given 10 minutes. Uh, Henry Lealuga Puatau. So he'll basically finish the rest of the game on the sideline. Mitchell Brasington takes the kick for touch. As we see the kick find line just on halfway. See the tap taken now, the ball back into play. Oakdale working to their right-hand side. Whitehouse, good run there. Over the 40, brought down 37 metres out. Under the right-hand side. McKinnon turns it inside. Ball out the back, second phase ball, that's dangerous. Berth picks it up on the volley. Build it down, 37 metres out. Inside, 10 to go. Burks low to his feet, the veteran centre. Still a couple of metres here. And we've got time off with 9.14 remaining. Bodies down all over the place. Been a tough night at the office for both these sides. See one of the Norellan players down receiving attention. Nine and a quarter minutes to go here. Let's see if we've got it. I think there's a couple of scores from around the around the traps tonight. Let's see what we can uh, find out for you tonight. Uh, full time in the early match at uh, Jack Brabham Reserve. Appen 36, Oran Park Blue 14. Progress scores in the three. Uh, these are all third grade matches, I should say. And the three matches underway at present. It's Mount Hannon 24, Southwest West is 6, Run Park Green 18, Camden nil, Warragamba 34, Campbelltown City nil. And I think we might even have a reserve grade match. I'm just trying to find that on my screen. There it is. Uh, no, we don't have one today. I thought we did, but uh, there's only the one game... Only the third grade matches tonight. So Appen 36, Oran Park Blue 14. That's a final score. That was the early match in the matches that are live at the moment. Mount Adam 24, going is 6. Oran Park Green 18, Camden nil, And Warragamba 34, uh, City nil. The one match tomorrow is Picton and Mittagong. And that one is at 11.30 tomorrow morning at Victoria Park in first grade. As we said, currently 52 16 in favour of Oakdale with 9.14 remaining. Tomorrow, uh, Thelmere and the Goannas down at Thelmere. The match I'll be broadcasting. Picton and Mittagong from Victoria Park and Camelton City take on Camden. Curtis Woodward and Brian Brown to bring you that one from Fullwood Reserve tomorrow afternoon.
We might take a a short break here on MacArthur Sports Radio and have more in a moment. Stay with us. Whether it's a polo, playing kit or an entire club's apparel supply you need, make sure you get in touch with the team at F2 Sportswear. F2 Sportswear can design a new strip for your team with a range of sports covered, including football, AFL, rugby union and basketball. F2 Sportswear can produce a kit for as little as 10 units with quick turnarounds on orders being completed in around four weeks. Head to f2sportswear.com.au for more information or a quote on your next uniform. F2 Sportswear are proud sponsors and clothing suppliers of MacArthur Sports Radio. If you're a small to medium business looking to realise your full potential, then you need to speak to the team at Forte Financial Services. The team at Forte Financial Services can come to your home or workplace to speak to you about tailoring motor vehicle and equipment finance needs. Forte Financial Services can also tailor a home loan through the many lenders in the market as they look for the best deal for you. Head to fortefinancial.com.au to organise an appointment with the team and discuss your situation. Forte Financial Services, ethics and expertise in Financial Services, Forte Financial Services are proud sponsors of MacArthur Sports Radio. We thank all our businesses that support us in 2021 to keep us on air and operating. Forte Financial Services, F2 Sportswear, got the F2 Sportswear apparel on tonight. Uh, also the beer shed, Holly Lee Road, Le Beer. We can go around the grounds and tell you it's Canterbury trailing Parramatta 32-10. Five minutes remaining there, so they'll finish just ahead of us. Had a delay for a couple of minutes here with the Narellon player down receiving attention. Also, AWPM Civil and Case Statewide Solar, proud sponsors of MacArthur Sports Radio. We, we thank them one and all for their uh, support and assistance this year. Along with all the clubs who allow us to uh, come and broadcast the games each week. So this weekend, a thank you to the Oakdale Club for allowing us to broadcast from their, uh, their uh, box. Tomorrow we're at Victoria Park and Fullwood Reserve. So thank you to both those clubs, but all the clubs in Group 6 for allowing us to uh, broadcast their matches. We've got a penalty here to Oakdale as we get back underway. Nine minutes remaining penalty to Oakdale. I think there was a push in there. A couple of penalties uh, late in this match. Penalty count 6-5 to Oakdale for Case Statewide Solar. So fairly even the count tonight. Kick finds the line just outside the 30. East inside of the ground. Let's see if Oakdale's got one or two more left in them. There's a good ball. That looked like uh, trade use CO back on the park for the final eight and a half minutes. Plays it 25 out. The right-hand side of the Norellan defence, a long ball out wide, Levi McLean steps inside one. Can he beat a second? No. Brought to ground three metres out from the line. Long ball finds Hall. Now that looks like Bullock. Brought down nine metres out. There's Matthew Brasington, finds it out wide for McKinnon. Short ball, good hands. Josh Burke. Burke fighting for the line. Ball's come away. Norellan have it. Referee says no, that was illegal. Penalty goes the way of the Jets. Uh, penalty goes the way of Oakdale, rather. My apologies. As we see the tap taken, that looks like Alec Bush who flings it out the back. Hall keeps it alive. Does a little 360. Short ball for CO. Trade you, CO gets over. That was far too easy for the big man. And he's crashed over the score with seven minutes remaining. To make it 56 16, 40 point margin. They've really blown them out of the park in the second half. So, Trade you, CO on the replay for F2 Sportswear just found a little gap. They got the, the penalty and then worked it to the left-hand side. But CO found a little bit of space and just put his ears back and charged for the line. So this to make it 58-16. Six 
and a half minutes remaining. Mitchell Brasington, nine from ten tonight. Another one miss so far. Yeah, from about 18 metres out and 15 in on the western side. Doesn't miss those. Puts it through. There's another two points. So he's 10 from 11 tonight. Eight sixteen, the score line with uh, just under six minutes to go here at Sid Sharp tonight. And this Saturday night, getting the call of months now. Not too many Saturday night games. They start coming from Josh Campbell. He's done that a few times tonight. Finger on the kicking tee here. High. Restart not very deep. Taken by McLean. Brings it up to his 20 almost. Back, back a few metres. Now the right hand side. Hunter working it forward. Inside five to go. Five minute warning. to the 30 now Oakdale on the on the charge out of their own end games well on on ice this one inside four and a half to go and we see them come back for the kick now Mitchell Brasington just punches it downfield easily taken at the back it looks like Sal Kamuda at the back it is crashing into the Oakdale Defensive line. This one coming to a conclusion. Looks like uh, Israel Siafale has picked up a bit of a knock there. He's stretching it out inside the last couple of minutes. Now it's Josh Campbell. Around the grounds, it's full time at, Par at Homebush, Parramatta 32, Canterbury 10. Parramatta 32, Canterbury 10 at full time at Homebush. Here, three and a half minutes to go, 58 16 the score. Now the kick high on the last. Not a bad looking kick, McLean loses it back. Muir can't hold onto it, ball's on the deck, anybody want it? Got a knock on first one from Oakdale, so it'll be a New Orleans scrum feed on the attack. A couple of minutes remaining, it's just over three to go. A double knock on there from the first one from McLean, then from New Orleans. Neither side could hot handle it. Now to give our votes for man of the match tonight. This will be a bit of fun. Um, Let's have a look down the list here. Uh, Josh Burke with his three would have to get a, a mention. He'll get the three votes. He's destroyed them tonight. Uh, just having a look here. Uh, Rich Brasington for two. And for the one vote, uh, no, Jermaine Hall. He's had a solid, solid night out. So Josh Burke, our man of the match. Mitchell Brasington gets the two votes and Jermaine Hall the one for our man of the match award tonight. As voted by me. Judge, jury and executioner as they say. Norellan very close to get it down. I think he has. That's a try to Norellan. Try to Norellan late in the match. Inside two to go. The two minute warning has sounded. Two-minute warning has sounded. So it's 58-20. Good work by Norellan to keep fighting. Score what looks like the last try of the match. Nobody's in any hurry to uh, 
to do much here with only 90 seconds left in this one by the time they take their kick and wander back to halfway. There'll only be about a minute or so remaining. Makes it 58-20 with a conversion attempt from in front. Just confirm who the try scorer was. Josh Campbell to try and convert the extras. He's two from three tonight. Kicked his only shot at goal after half time with a minute to go. Final plays of the night. Being drawn out. That's a sharp oval. The clock ticking down. Nobody's in a hurry here. Not sure what the delay is here, but Josh Campbell seeming to take a little bit longer than usual. Just throws it over from point blank range. <coughs> that makes it 58-22. And that will be our final score with only 25 seconds remaining. Nobody's in a hurry. In fact, I don't even think they're going to take the kick off here. So that will be our final score. And everybody shakes hands as... Referee Jack Mackay calls time. That was the final play of the night. And Oakdale comprehensive winners. 58 points to 22 over the Norellan Jets. As the siren has sounded for full time. A comprehensive win. If I've got my maths right. That should make it 11 tries to the... Uh, Workers and four for Norellan. So an 11 try to four route by the workers tonight to take their first win of the year and do it in style. 58 22 over Norellan, who remain winless with uh, three matches in the book. They'll have tomorrow off. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. We might wrap it up from here. Uh, an easy win, too. Oakdale this evening. I'm Mike Sheen. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon from Picton. Picton and Mittagong's our match on MacArthur Sports Radio. That was another game of Group 6 Rugby League. Brought to you by the team at Group 6 Legal.